Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is Minister Paul, and it is um, 9-7-2012 at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time out here in Northern California. I was given this vision while driving back from L.A., Anaheim, California area on September 3rd. It was, <laughs> believe it or not, it was actually about this exact time. So, one, two, three, four days later. I didn't share it. Um, and I didn't really know why, but I'm going to share it today. Uh, I, don't, I don't profess to know everything. I knew it was real, and I knew it was going to happen. But I figured I was just done with YouTube, but God had other plans. You know, if, if you have a calling to be a watcher, you're going to come under attack. You need to surround yourself with some intercessors and get some prayer, honestly. Because it's a, it's a tough call. But if God shows you something, you need to release it. Because that's your calling. Ezekiel 33, okay? So I'm, I'm you know, I, I just wanted to give God some glory here. He gave us advance warning. I, I began to speak about the word outbreak. And then I said worldwide. And then people laughed and scoffed at me like they always did. Not everybody, but I called my father and I said, you know, God spoke to me and he said worldwide outbreak. And he said, ah, that hasn't happened since World War II or, you know, he's 76. He gave me, yeah, that would, that would take years to happen and this and that, but so I just kind of got shot down, but I heard from God. And at the time, we were just talking about West Nile in Texas. Everybody remember that? It, it's on here. The the outbreak. Um, so I just began last night to listen to some of... I, I just This is my prophecies uh, playlist. I'll put a link to it. I just began to listen to everything that God had said to us, he's a good God, I will perform my word, well, he absolutely will, sheriffs came to my house, tried to arrest me, I set before thee a watchman on the wall, Here, an earthquake is coming that will lead to a loss of power and communication, um, there was one uh, an outbreak, it might be under dreams and visions, even the key word is outbreak. Uh, just looking at some of these to show you. Boy, there's so much to say. I better get to saying it. But, you know, when I was driving down there, one of the things I noticed, if anybody's driven fives, beginning the sorrows, that's one should really be taken heed to. Fire, shootings, fires, and floods. Uh, so anyway, I began to play this, this playlist. And and when you just hit play all, that's what I did. I was going to listen to all of them. The first one that pops up um, is about earthquakes. I just watched this. It's a short video. That's my uh, guy I know singing that song. What's the date on this video? July 3rd. The day before 4th of July. So let's just go to the end and watch how it ends. God just had me grab the... Look, I just grabbed the state of California watch. And I just began to shake it. Behold, I'm coming quickly, he said. I don't even really know why I did that. But uh, God has had me be going back. I'm uploading this right now. So, and then and then the, the outbreak. Well, now, this is today's article from 8 a.m. The this, this hantavirus, which is a very, very serious level 4 outbreak. It's being played down. 
I, I drove by on five. I'll, I'll, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. I don't believe it's any coincidence that I drove by five uh, to go down and pray in Anaheim. It took like nine hours to get there. I don't know why it takes longer to get there than, than to get back. Um, maybe the, it's more uh, hill hilly going up the grapevine than it is coming down. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I don't really wasn't really my focus, uh, but here's the thing: is that at a minimum of ten thousand people may be at risk. Uh, but but it says worse yet. The NPS says that twenty five hundred of those could be from thirty nine different countries around the globe. Now, am, am I saying this This is the apocalyptic outbreak of the end of the world? No. I'm just saying that God spoke something to a man, and the man uh, was obedient in putting it out, and, and this is a very deadly thing. This is just one of many viruses. But let God be true and every man be a liar. Just to read this headline... We're not talking about the West Nile over here, or we're not talking about Ebola, which is huge right now, and Salmonella. I'm just talking about one. Uh, it's a level four. It kills like one in three or something like that. Well, that prophecy, uh, what I saw, is now today's headline from over a month ago. So let me just take you on a, a, a ride with me. And I'm amazed how powerful God is to show me these things. All I did was Google, because, uh, you know, I think five of my prophecies are concerning uh, uh, loss of communications. And I, this is the actual road. This This guy, I don't know whose page this is. I don't know how he did it. But this is somebody actually driving five from one end to the other uh, and, and taking pictures of it along the route. And so, see, that's one of the newer towers, and these are the old towers. And this, at one point, actually crosses over the freeway. This is the road that I was on, and I was amazed. I'm like, um, this is what I searched for, New Power Lines, California, and I was given this map. And I'm like, oh, because I want to get into the prophecy. I want to show you what some of the newer earthquake-proof ones look like. Everybody see that? Just this is this is an infrastructure of power lines. I'm just going to show you some brief pictures of. I actually drove by and under these things. Here's a couple more. Um. So to get to the prophecy, let me see if there's anything else I need to show you. Um, this is basically what keeps the state of California in power. And I'm amazed that on this, this route, I have to go back, on this route, yeah, he he took the route same route I did. You know what else is on here? See, is is about our water supply. They they've built this new water supply. I've also talked about our water supply. Um, see these pictures. See, there's an older one. This is the route I took there and back. So. Maybe I'll just put a link to this page and let God speak to you. But I'm going to share this. Uh, it's not a, a. It's not a. Um, it's not a prophecy. It's a vision I had. See, this is the way I came up. This is uh, going south on the left side. This is the way I went home going north. Let me just keep that up for a minute. Let's go to Google Earth. This is the rest stop I uh, stopped at and went in and I had to use the bathroom. This was about, this is the halfway point I called it. I even checked in from here and, and I said uh, middle of nowhere on I-5 
and I took a picture I took a picture of this I took a picture of this and um, uh, and put it on my Facebook and I actually you know you can check in on Facebook uh, people watching this will bear witness that I did this I just put them in halfway there to the prayer uh, convention uh, middle of nowhere I-5 even the pastor saw it he said what was that I said I don't know this being led this is the rest stop on the other side I'm like see this is a water all these water see how this water I want you to just bear with me see how this water conduit parallels I-5 for literally miles and miles and there's signs up that are protesting Congress um, I had originally put in I'll just show you how I did it I had originally put in Patterson I don't know why I put in Patterson this is see how it's already there I don't know why I put in Patterson California I just did I, I'm not familiar with this area while I was driving this route um, coming home after four days of prayer just let it do its thing see all that water and stuff now I don't know what this has to do with Stanislaw County remember this these are Stanislaw counties um, so let's zoom out and do the same thing I did let's zoom out and look at this area okay first look at that now I was I was down about here somewhere and I had I saw this vision I was listening to a song I'll even put a link to the song we'll just do it exactly uh, like God showed it to me I won't add to it or take it away I'd passed that red stop and I was listening to this song called gratitude and God showed me Hey, maybe it's a tsunami. I just noticed that river thing. I, I, uh, God showed me two things. There was a fire breaking up. Now remember, this is looking at this. It's going north. I'm driving north. There was a fire on the mountains, but when you're on five over here, there's mountains over here too. I just want you to understand that. There's mountains on both the east and west side of five. And they were on fire. And and so I figured, well, it's fire season. Maybe a fire is going to break out because I know this was from God. I know this was from God. And so, so just take a look at this area and you ask, well, what can we do? Well, we can prepare and we can pray because it hasn't happened yet so the other thing was that there was flooding and I'm thinking why is there why is there flooding and fire in the same area honestly why is there flooding and fire in the same area and I asked God and he said look at the communicate uh, look at the power poles shall I not fulfill my uh, words shall I not fulfill my prophecies and what had happened was the fire imagine this I'm born and raised here I've never seen fires and flooding at the same time in California in my life there was fires and flooding in the same season I'm going to use the word season <coughs> excuse me in this area and and I'm driving and seeing this it's not a dream I'm seeing this and those power Pole, so just take a look at that area and just remember it those power poles that I saw were coming down they were falling down and California's grid had lost power for weeks the, they were getting water soaked at the bottom and they were catching fire on the top and they were falling down for miles people for miles and then a great earthquake hit not a small earthquake, a great earthquake hit and toppled them. So we had three things all at once in one season. I'm just going to use the word season. Fires and flooding. It wasn't major flooding. I told my wife that. It was, it was just enough flooding to, to be problematic. 
and an earthquake and a loss of communications. And I'm putting that out in the name of Jesus.